This is lesson three of the Buzz Touch Essentials learning path. So in this lesson, we're just going to create a simple application using the control panel. We're going to start by going to Applications and clicking New App. You'll see that I don't have any apps already in my, in my panel, so there's none to choose from. We'll say New App. We'll choose version 2.0, which is what we recommend for all new users. We'll name this application Monterey Harbor. I have an application in mind. We'll just make a basic application for my favorite marina. So now we're creating Monterey Harbor application. This will take a few moments. Next, we'll continue to the application's control panel and we'll land on the app's home screen. This home screen um, is unique to this application. Every application in your panel will have a home screen with lots of different choices. But because this is a simple example, we're going to move through this pretty quickly. First, we're going to upload an application icon. I've already prepared an icon on my desktop of a little boat, so we'll use that. Now, the icon that I prepared is a little bit bigger. The artwork's a little bit bigger than the icon we want, so I will select the portion that I want, and I will save that, and I'll say Done. So now we've uploaded the icon. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of screens to this application. New applications already begin with one screen, a menu. So we'll load up that menu and we'll add a couple of new screens to it. If we wanted to see some details about this menu, this plugin, every screen is a plugin. If we want to see some details about this menu plugin, we could look over here on the right. But we're just going to add a couple of rows to it. The first row will say um, Email Harbor Master. And we will create a new screen called Email Harbor Master. So this is the row that will show in the menu, and this is the new screen we're going to create. We've given it, we've given it a, nip, a nickname that matches um, the row title, which is customary. We'll choose the type of plugin we want to create. We want to create a send email plugin, so we will add that. Next, we'll add a harbor location map to our menu. So we'll add a map plugin, which is right here, a location map. And we'll say add. So now we have two items on our menu. An email harbor master choice, which will be the top choice, and harbor location map will be the second choice. When you look at this sample screenshot here, you'll see it's just a simple menu list we're working with. So we, have, we'll, we will have two rows in this. So before we finish, Let's go ahead and look at that map, and we need to add a location to this map. So these are the properties for the map. So we'll add a title on this callout bubble for this one location. We'll add the address to the um, harbor itself, so it shows up on the map. I need to happen to know the address. And when I enter an address here for the subtitle and I leave this field, the latitude and the longitude will be looked up for us. Now this callout bubble will show on the map similar to this example screenshot right here. And when the user taps on this information icon, we're going to want to show them driving directions. We could also show them another screen, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to show some driving directions. So we'll add that location to the map. We could continue to add locations. Um, we could continue to customize the map's behavior and a lot of the different advanced properties, but we're not going to do that. So we've set up our map. So let's go back to screens now. We have three items in our, in our list of screens. This list will grow and grow and grow. Everything you add to your app will show up in this list. We know that these two items are connected to this menu because that's how we created them. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to the app's home screen. Then we're going to use the download source code button and we're going to prepare a project for iOS. We could also prepare a project for Android by using this option. But we're going to work with iOS, so I'm now downloading the iOS project. And we will show that project in my computer. So, this is the archive that the control panel just created for us. So we used 
this screen, download the, pro the project source code to create this archive. Now we're going to unzip this archive. And inside this archive, you're going to see all of the project files. You can explore these folders if you'd like. But what we're going to do is use the Xcode icon. We're going to double click the Xcode icon to open this project in Xcode. This is not an Xcode tutorial, so I'm not going to get into any details about how Xcode works. We'll save that for another lesson. But I will adjust the screen size here so it fits in our recording. All we did was double click, double click the Xcode icon and we opened up this project in Xcode. The next thing we're going to see the icons for the um, that we uploaded to our control panel. Here's the icons, but we're not going to make any adjustments to the Xcode project other than dragging in our plugins folder. The instructions to do this are also included in the download. I just knew that we needed to add the plugins, so you can read the instructions. So now we have it open in Xcode. We've added all of our plugins. We have all of our source code that the control panel made for us. Next, we're going to choose the iPhone simulator from the drop down list in the top left. And we're going to say run. I just click this run button right here. It will take the simulator about 45 seconds on most machines. It takes about 45 seconds to go through all this source code and compile it into an application and install it on the iPhone simulator. So we'll let that happen. The simulator itself, I've cho I have selected the Retina Display the Simulator. It's a little bit bigger than my, my screen. So once it launches here, I will use um, the simulator options here to change the scale of the simulator so that we can see it in the screen. So here's our application. These are the two choices that we selected in our control panel. When we select one, the um, screen shows up. We didn't set up any properties on the email screen, but we could have. And the map shows up. We set up a map with one location, which is right here. We gave some driving directions. Um, we gave the driving directions link here when we click this option. And there's our app. I'll do one last demonstration here. We have our control panel running. We also have our simulator running on the left. And what we can do here is we can leave the simulator running. We can go back to our screens and actions. And we can make a change to this application. For example, I'll change Email Harbor Master. I will change that to Excuse me. I will change the email on, on this to Scott or Joe at MontereyMarina.com. Question about the marina. So I'll change the subject and the email address. I click save. Now over here in our application, I'll hit the refresh button. That's all I did. I didn't recompile it or anything. And when I hit email harbor master, you'll see those changes are updated. We can make lots and lots of changes to our application after it's been compiled and running on a device. I'll give you another example. Let's say that we wanted to reorder the menu items on our menu. We can change those and hit refresh and now we have different menu items. So that is a demonstration of how quickly we can create a simple application using the BuzzTouch control panel. To summarize, all I did is I went to my account I clicked Applications. I created this application. Using the control panel, I uploaded an icon. I added two screens. The, the third screen, the menu, was already added for me. We manipulated the properties on these screens. We downloaded the source code using the package project option. We did it for iOS, not for Android. We opened that source code up in Xcode. We hit the run button and this is what we got. So 
That concludes this lesson, lesson three, and we hope that was helpful.